I have questions, but I don't even want to ask. This is what the fuck is going on. <laughs> this is the shit. This is the shit that we dealing with in life. Some things in life are better left unanswered. <laughs> this is the shit we dealing with in life. Okay. Bet that. Anyway. You said I don't want to ask. So we here. We back. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Another this shit has been like what? A month? Yeah, that's what it seemed like. Mm-hmm. So we finally got a hold of Kyle. Um, the nigga was in, what were you, Morocco? I was in uh, ICU. <laughs> no, I'm just, I don't want to put that shit on my life. No, <laughs> I don't want to put that shit on my life. I feel bad for trying nah. to attack your brace earlier. <laughs> Yeah, he was in uh, Morocco. He went on like a, a mini, a mini tour, like world tour. Like, I was like, why? I was like, yo, it's some, some some spiritual shit. He was like, no, I was just bored. Just felt like leaving America for a little bit. We've been doing this show for I don't know how long, and this man just continues to lie to y'all. Y'all got to stop believing this bullshit. No, <laughs> this nigga. I was had... about to say, you definitely got more money than me because I ain't laughing like. If y'all could see the house you. that we was in right now. Okay, first of all, mind your business. <laughs> 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 Worry about yourself and. The fucked up thing, I mean, y'all can't see the real yeah, size it's, of this. Yeah, it's the Airbnb. I don't know what he's talking about. Y'all can't see the real size $35 of this, of this a crib, day. but we in one of the closets. Uh, oh, yeah. Shit is crazy. She First can... of all, you're in I'm, the I'm Airbnb. A... I almost snitched on my life, Jesus. She can definitely fit my house inside her house. No, I can't. She can fit two of my shits in there. You know what? It's okay to have money. I yeah. don't have any money. I'm actually completely broke. Now Someone selling, stole my credit cards. She must have told guy. somebody. Somebody must have asked her for something yesterday. And she was like, I ain't got it. <laughs> so she, she need to stick to that story real quick. So y'all rich light skin people do? First of all, I'm I'm a grown ass man and I'm a dark nigga. <laughs> Shout out to Drake. Okay. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what nigga? What the fuck is happening right now? This is how we bringing this shit back? This yeah, is man. Fuck she, it. Yeah. You invited me on as if I had it since. <laughs> she came with all the snacks. Too, oh, man. This is, I this is how we starting this shit off. I'm trying to fix this so it's not, like, right on my mouth. I mean, the closer, the better. I can adjust the levels, though, if it's... Is that better? I, That's better. It's your comfort level, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> don't want the you microphone the one with right. headphones on. You don't want the microphone right in your mouth. Yeah, you don't like the microphone no. near you. You don't rock the mic. You don't like to rock the mic. First of all, both of y'all can rock my mic from the back. Okay? No, thank you. We might be able to both discuss this. No, <laughs> Two, he said we might be able to discuss this. See the speakers, maybe. See? Duh, she was talking about her her woman dick, <laughs> <laughs> which I would assume to be her clitoris. Crazy. Like. <sighs> you know. That's different. That, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's, 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 that's what I assume it to be. That shit just switches y'all the whole nasty, narrative. Y'all are nasty, because I just said both of you. Yeah, y'all I'm, like, I'm that's what's up. I'm definitely nasty. Yeah. If anybody seen... I uh, need an adult. You I, 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 I need an adult. At this age, we all need adults. Help. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you think about the R. Kelly me. We all need... <laughs> Wait. I need an adult, too. Oh, my God. Consenting at that. Yeah. <laughs> in the truest sense. What is wrong with you guys? A lot. <laughs> well, once when I was seven. No, was a <laughs> there is a lot wrong with me. <laughs> I'm not. We about to turn this shit into therapy real quick? Is that no, what we no, doing? we're not. I don't want to hear about your problems. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. I kind of miss doing this shit. Yeah. It was I missed it. Yeah. It's my venting session every week. So, hey, guys. I'm Chantel Cairo, a.k.a. Selena. Since these two assholes brought me on their podcast and didn't introduce me. Didn't introduce me. Do you see this shit? Yeah, we had I just, I just, Damn, we didn't we just, even get to do our introductions in house, yet. Like, in my house. Not, we didn't not, even do our introductions yet. So Relax, she, look, like the, I will <laughs> fucking murder you. <laughs> anyway. I will, this is my new friend today. <laughs> so, I am... One mm-hmm. half your host, Resigula. Resigula. What does that mean? What the fuck does that word even mean? Yeah. Making up shit. It's your boy, Regular Job. Making up shit, as always. Y'all know me. I don't got, like, the, the ill, crazy catch minds like uh, K. Cutter Kyle over here. K. Cutter Kyle. But I'm your boy, Regular Job. Y'all know me, man. 80 proof. A-Y-O, 80 proof. Once again, Prince of Pot, Majesty of Marijuana. See them taglines? This nigga just. How long it took you to come the up King with King of Chronic. That? 
How long it took you to come over? When he was Not sitting long. in the basement with no friends, he was like, "Well, my friends yep. call me." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was like, "If I had yeah, friends, you know, I they have would no call friends, me." But I smoke all the time. What? <laughs> <laughs> if I had <laughs> friends, one day they'd be like, "Hey, eighty proof, you want to go play basketball?" But I don't got no fucking friends. Nope. And then I got some friends, and we all got drunk. And we have our hey. rude ass guests. I am this, not rude for this week. Wait a minute. That just was like fuck introducing yourselves and then introducing me. I'ma just <laughs> take over this shit and do what the fuck I want to. We got Lizzie Lohan in the motherfucking house. I I can't wait. You guys do know there are two pool cues right there. This, I will have nigga kebab for what, dinner. This ain't in too deep and your name ain't God, nigga. <laughs> think about it. But you gonna need that it. motherfucker you think bring that pool table to me. <laughs> she does have a pool table in the house. Y'all can't see Okay, it. no, I don't. Nice Yo, pool, it's, pool table, too. And the shit is like, you know them white, them Thanksgiving tables that be in like the white movies? <laughs> like with the family, like the whole family, like grandma, grandpa, all the aunts and uncles, them tables. Her pool table is the size of that shit. This is one of them pool tables you see, you instantly want to do some fucking on. Yeah. Okay, well, no one's She got the porno pool table. Yeah, that's what it is. She got the porno pool table. I don't table. have a pool table. You fucked on that table before? No, I've never fucked on that table. What? Why would you? I would, yeah, I would, that's that like, looks that's like a you, lie. <laughs> she is lying all through her soul. That shit is... <laughs> the lie is oozing out her eyes. <laughs> that shit is funny. That's... Pools and pool tables are meant for that. <clears throat> I walked in. I saw the pool table. I was like, that like a good pool table for some fucking... Like, what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> like, who raised? It's a tournament style pool. No, you don't. I mean, whatever style you, you want to do you on don't, it. I mean, I'll shoot pool on it too. On it. But yeah. Why would you do that? You shoot pool on it too. You but must fuck dry bitches. Because I'm shoot. not ruining my pool table. You can always get the cover replaced. You Jesus, ain't, you see, ain't catch that. No, no, I it. no, I it. no, I it. no. I was gonna let it go. I like, meant to retract the statement. No, don't retract the name. I, I do. Squirtle. <laughs> Track the statement now. <laughs> squirtle, squirtle. <laughs> squirtle, squirtle. I hate you guys so much. Welcome to BYOB, man. Oh Welcome my God. to fuck the BYOB. We back. We, back, we back, man. Back in this oh. bitch, man. We back, uh, we back, we back. And they're terrible people. I don't even know why y'all watching this shit right now. Just watch me be. <laughs> why? So we switching the format up this week. Um, so we not doing... I mean, we might do album reviews because I, I definitely want to big up Maji and big up Jim Jones and that gate shit. But ain't really, yo, we've been going for a month and only three albums dropped. Yeah. And they yeah, all they dropped were, this week. Yeah. Uh, ain't really been a lot of music in these streets. I mean, but most of the music that's dropping is trash. So I'm okay with them holding on for a little bit. I agree with you there. Yeah. What do no, you I consider was... trash? You Are you one of them old heads that just everything that's not. That don't sound like the nineties is trash. No, no, not at all. Honestly, like like certain certain rap is like my least favorite rap. Like like when rap first like came the new out, shit. like how everything sounded the same. I walked up the block and I got a hat. <laughs> like <laughs> everything sounded exactly the same. Like I really don't so, like and I know it's a whole So what you saying is fuck Graham as the fashion of Furious Five? You just said that? Like you really uh, saying that right now? I mean I honestly didn't say that. You just put words in my mouth, but she, you can't make mean, anything sound bad when she's you not just far put off. words together. Yeah. Nah, nah, I, I ain't, yeah, that rappers shit is like, like, They didn't say shit in rappers, but I said a hip, a hop, a hip, a hip, 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 I, I feel like we're going right back to the same thing. Like, new rap, everything sounds the same. So what you're saying is don't push like, you. Because uh, you're close to the edge and you're trying not to lose your head. Uh, huh. Huh, huh, huh. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Jones came out with a nice album this week. <laughs> or, don't push me. I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Uh-huh. You know I have a backyard with new topsoil, right? Uh-huh. I could turn this house into a special Yo, somebody HBO need to do that. They need to put, they they need to put that laugh back there. Right. <laughs> a lie. Don't push me. I want them laughing I, while I'm pulling I'm close to the, the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Uh-huh. You can put him under the tree. So Apparently, John lost his, his head. body eventually. Yeah. Apparently he lost his head since the last episode. He told me he liked that tea too. 
we be doing them a favor. Y'all niggas just haters. I'm just saying. Y'all niggas just haters. I don't even remember the question you asked. So, uh... first topic this week, <laughs> why we on hating and haters and y'all niggas being haters, because y'all would know because y'all niggas fucking haters. Oh. I am a hater. So <laughs> the yellowest nigga. I'm going to tell you, I'm a hater. When is disliking something not considered hating? Because, like, these days, that yeah. shit is like a fine line. Like, if you don't like <laughs> something, like, niggas just like you a hater. Like, Nigga drive an you like, yeah, that shit won't for me. Like, nigga, oh, you a hater. Nigga. You right. was hating ass nigga. I think a lot of times now people, like, mix hate with opinion. Like, no, put your pussy away, please. Yeah, that's not, put your pussy away. Like, <laughs> like, that's not, I just don't like it. Like, but that that's automatically considered hate now. You can't have an opinion. No. So, so if we're looking at it, like, as in these days, but what is actual hating like, like, say, Aliyah's album dropping, some ugly bat owl looking bitch was like, "I heard that shit whack." No, Why you're she gotta a hater. sound like Kyle? They do sound like that. <laughs> Why she gotta oh, sound like tell Kyle? Me you, tell that. me you don't know a bat owl that looks just like that and sounds like that. You know you do. You know you do. Go ahead and tell me you don't know a bat owl. I don't even know what the fuck a bat <laughs> owl is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. And and know. That's what the fuck she looks like. That shit sounds terrible. A bat and an owl? Like, yeah, as, just as mixed one. together. Like if they had a love child, I'd have hate. <laughs> <laughs> and this mug was missing A love the child out of hate. It was like yeah, 75 pounds overweight. Okay, that's a... That's, that's a bat owl. Right, though. <laughs> and it howls. Like people a, definitely confuse... Like a dog yeah, or a wolf. But people definitely confuse opinions with hate, man. Like... It's okay to have your own opinion and to not like something and still not be a hater. It's just not for me, motherfucker. Like, yeah, you can still enjoy it. It's just not for me. That doesn't mean I'm a hater. They haze when you go above and beyond to bash it. Mm, yeah, and try, yeah, and try to drag other people's opinions down. Like, mm-hmm. motherfucker, don't like that shit. I said that shit suck. Right. Like, oh, <laughs> I said, okay. That, everybody should think that shit suck. Right. That's hate. Yeah. Be having my opinions, just, nigga. That shit just not for me. You can fuck with it. I'm good on it. I also think hate is sometimes, like, misconstrued. Like, well, education is misconstrued for hate. Like, if you tell your homeboy, like, nah, that line was whack. You need to work on your game a little more before you. Then then they be like, oh, you hating. No, nigga, I'm trying to keep you from sucking. Like, you ever seen where people be like, oh, they don't got no real friends? No, you had a real friend. You called them a hater. (laughs) Your real friend was right there telling you no. I know I'm a hater because I dislike more shit than I like in life. <laughs> so I'm just used to. I think that just makes us like. Am I bitter? Yeah, I, maybe I, we're I, like bitter and damaged because I'm the same way. Chances are I'm going to start off like, not liking it and then you have to convince me to like it. But see, I'm stubborn as hell. You can't convince me. Once I don't <clears> like it, I'm never going to like it. And I don't care what my body does to it. I'm not going to like it because I decided. Say what? Wait. Like, like no, Just you know <laughs> I'm talking about. Music. I'm talking about music. Oh, your body dancing. And yeah, moving like you know, how, like you'll get inside your foot. What is? Nah, that shit was going left. That shit was going left for a second. No, it wasn't. No, I feel it though. Y'all made it go left. I see now. My face is red. A lot of times you find yourself music. singing them bullshit songs you know you hate. Yeah. <laughs> That fucking Old Town Road song. Hey, that Jesus. song is catchy as a motherfucker. Hey, yo. In real life, I'm going to listen to his album when it drops. <laughs> now you going to lie to you. I'm going to listen to his album. Full he album, need to drop bro. a full album. I don't think it's going to happen. Kyle going to be in the house, goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> with one of them horses yeah. in the back. Nigga. He going to be in there with one of them pony heads with the stick. Hey. <laughs> Dallum in the front of the crib. I was so upset that I didn't have enough friends to have one of those. Hobby horse tournaments in my backyard. So I, um, next, um, <laughs> I don't want it. but no, no, no. On a serious note, though, like I don't know. Like a lot of people misconstrue. It's like you're not allowed to dislike shit no more. Like you can't mm-hmm. if you dislike anything that, especially if the the, the masses like. Yeah, it. the masses like it. You gotta like it. Like you have to. Like you can't be like, yo, that ain't for me, or you a hater. Right. Like you just can't dislike shit no more. Like yo, some sometimes shit just not for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Haters prey on your downfall, man. That's I a think fact. That's a big difference. They don't want you to succeed at all. I mean, but you could. Whose downfall do you prey on? Uh, it's like two niggas in life that I really hate. <laughs> I really hope they fail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of wanting wanting to hit us. I mean, 
it is rare that I don't like people, but you know, it's two people in life that have rubbed me the wrong way, and it's like, all right, nigga, fuck you forever. So oh, I hope whatever you do in life fails. Yeah. I don't think I've ever. Other than that, I, don't know. I hate Brian McKnight. <laughs> Why? I can't what stand you, are you? I hate. I don't that know. That is the most. Rare it's the most random shit. shit ever, right? I hate Brian McKnight. I can't what stand fuck? Brian McKnight. Bro. Brian McKnight has never done shit to me. I know Brian McKnight got some good hits out there. I just hate Brian McKnight. Like, like as a person or his music, you just hate everything about. I just McKnight. hate everything about Brian McKnight. <laughs> Yo, I don't know where this shit started. To be honest with you, that's the awesome. I can't stand now, like. Right? I don't know what. That, that, that may have been racist. That's it not the same nigga. I was trying to figure out. Are you in good hands? Yeah, I was trying to figure out which one. Because I remember Brian McKnight, but who's the guy that's in good hands? Because I could have sworn that that's, was Brian that's McKnight. Kyle it's not Brian McKnight. But that I don't is know. Brian McKnight. Not Brian McKnight. Who is it? I don't know the nigga name, but he's an actor. That's Bixby. the nigga from Waiting the Exit. Bixby. Who is the Allstate guy? The Allstate nigger. <laughs> she was definitely about Don't to say the, my phone. the nigga from all state. The nigga from all state. So who, no, who's downfall? Who's downfall do you pray on? Honestly, I don't pray on anyone's downfall. Like, if you got me to a point where I really just hate you that much, I would rather actually forget about you because I'm obsessive. If I want to think about you, I'm going to think about you. If I'm thinking about you that much and I hate you, I'm going to jail. If I get caught, and see that's the issue. Those these two people that I hate on, I can't, I want to cause them physical harm, but I yeah. can't. So it's like I just have to hate you. So it's you, really you three niggas then. Because you don't like is Brian is Brian McKnight one of the two or he, no no Brian McKnight. Like so I don't really wish three. bad about Brian McKnight. Like, I just don't like anything Brian McKnight, McKnight does. I see his face. They do kind of look alike. So you want to so you want to run Brian McKnight fade? I mean I would. It's just not for nothing. Like, but what did he do? And that people got to realize that shit happened in oh, life, yo. The back at one, dude. Everybody that you meet in life, you just not gonna vibe with. Like, I mean, I, mean, I don't. But the sometimes play on you go, their downfall. I need. Yeah, answers. I mean, I don't. Oh really, no, that's that's different. I just, nah, it, I ain't gonna lie. If you if you an enemy of mine, I, I don't care what happens. You could really? die. Like it don't matter. I mean, yeah, they could absolutely So I don't give a die, fuck about you, yeah. Your I don't downfall, yeah. care your downfall to would, pray on your downfall. I'm not going like, to pray on it, but your downfall would probably make me happy. That's if, my little bit. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean. <laughs> if, I see, if I see you going through some shit in life and that shit is not favorable to you, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a little happy. A little pleasure there, yeah. And I mean, that's when you know that it's hate. <laughs> like, when you see that person doing bad and it gives you a little bit of joy, yeah. that's hate. See, I think I've only, like, outright hated once there was a girl i went to school with and she was so mean to me because she was a bad owl but she had seven kids now so i only gave one of them a piece of candy wait she in school she had seven kids in school no she has seven kids now oh, and she was at the mall and so i gave one of her kids a candy <coughs> seven candy. kids yeah and they a all lot look of fucking different kids. so i only gave one you of them Ohio. a piece of candy and watched them all like <laughs> i ain't got no kids out. <laughs> When was the last time you've been to Ohio? Never. Any of them kids look like Kyle? When was the last time you've been to Ohio? She I don't look go to like Ohio. Kyle. Just shorter. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who I don't know who was the target of that disrespect. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you're a woman and you're built like me, you are. You got some trouble going on in life, bitch. That's you definitely got, a bad owl. You got some trouble going on in life. Yeah. I don't what know. You I don't be a bad owl? No. I don't pray on nobody downfall. A woman that looks like you know you I don't know like damn academics. Well, going to be a bad yeah. owl. It's something about academic just like irritates me. It's like his face, like everything about him irritates. Yeah, me. just I mean, some people. I think like he's a problem. woman. Yeah, I mean, I don't have nothing against him though. Like I think he's a woman. Yeah, I mean, I don't have, I don't even have like no issue with the nigga. I mean, I don't know him to have an yeah. issue with him, but yeah, I don't know. He just irritates me. I don't he's an irritate. He like that little nigga in the hood that like when he come through niggas is like, oh shit, yeah, this nigga come. He yeah. looks like. But they let, but but they let him kick it because he. Like, what? Hmm. They let him kick it because who? Nah, they just let him kick it because he the little nigga in the hood. It's like we know he annoying, but he don't mean no harm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. Nah, exactly. Erica Badu yeah. said he looked like Jerry <laughs> from Tom and Jerry, and I can't unsee that shit now. I gotta, I gotta look that shit up. He does. Why would you do that? They put a side by side picture. Look that shit up, dog. They put a side by side picture of him. I'm gonna put that shit up on the joint so people can see. But um, where's my vase? <laughs> I think another thing is when um, people go out their way to tell you how much they don't care about some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like okay. Like, but that you clearly give a fuck. Yeah, it's not, it's not. It's not. It's you trying to. 
You're trying to convince yourself that you don't give a fuck. Like, that's caring like shit. Yeah. And it's okay to try to convince yourself that you don't give a fuck. Sometimes you got to do that shit yeah. like that. But you when you on social media and, like, every post is about, <coughs> like, Shy. what's going on tonight? Is anything happening tonight? All right, NBA playoffs, game two. Mm-hmm. If everything, if every status for, like, an hour straight is about how much you don't give a fuck about basketball, yeah. Like you pretty right. much like begging for attention at this point. Like you really care. You probably sitting there right. watching the game. Like, could you quit dinging my phone because I'm trying <laughs> to watch the game? Like, I can't believe y'all watch this shit every day. And like, I see that shit all the time. Or when, yeah. when everybody motherfucking having fun with something. Yeah. Like that. Uh, I'm this old when that shit Uh-oh. was going on. I'm sorry. I was one of those people. I got sick of it. I got sick of it. I, no, sick of it is one. But like, when the shit first started, it was niggas that was like. Stop the shit. Like the fun police ass yeah. niggas. Niggas hate I to have fun, man. You can't have fun to life. <laughs> see, but I have like 5,000 friends on Facebook, so it was like I'm trying to scroll and see what's going on with y'all life. And 90. They trying to tell you. No, 92% of these niggas don't have a mind of their own, so they'll like try to copy a meme. And they don't realize I have 5,000 friends, so most of the time it's grouped. Eight of you niggas just said the same shit. Which one of you. Was the originator and which one of you is the cornball? Like it, so it, it started getting more and more agitating as I keep scrolling, and it's like a grip of sixteen sheep, <laughs> and then a flock of four, <laughs> and then. <laughs> if you like, get your I, news for Facebook, you late anyway. Uh-huh. Yeah. So if you get your news for Facebook, you late anyway. Well, Especially since Facebook's news is like five days later than Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> all the memes and shit, none of them come from anybody on Facebook. They all Hell come from no. somebody on Twitter. I'm so bad at Like, that. the videos come from Facebook, and most of the memes come from Twitter. But then again, a lot of the fucking videos come from yeah. Twitter, too. I'm so bad at Twitter. I did Twitter one time, and it was, like, years ago. And then I saw Twitter again, because I She said that shit like it was a kinky sex act. Like, I did, <laughs> <laughs> I did Twitter no, once. I, it's so stupid. I didn't no. enjoy it. I'm bad at Twitter. <laughs> and then I started looking at it only because that's where my ex fiance was, and I was, like, in the stalking mode. Like, I'm about to start my own mm-hmm. shit. Waddle. What? It's gonna be just like Twitter, but it's all news. Did you say waddle? Twitter news. Twitter. First of all, we're not gonna put news inside of Twitter. Okay. Instead of instead of Twitter, it's gonna be Twitter. Do you know a twat is a vagina? Yeah, Twitter. That's what it's gonna be all news. That's the whole concept. I hate the word twat for vagina. I feel like those are like the loose ones. But instead of instead of the Twitter yeah. bird, yeah, those gotta be like the real. I think a white woman's no. pussy. When instead I hear of the Twitter bird, we gonna have we gonna have, a, we gonna have the, the lips. I think of the ones with the lips that hang out like this, or like the labia that hangs out of the lips like this. This is a twat. Oh, the shit that look like the predator's mouth. Yeah. When he opened his mouth up and yeah. shit right and they be the ones that's what the fuck are you doing? Like, what the fuck is that? That's what it. That's her that's, finger. That's, that's her what finger it feels like. Like, like finger. it's like. Oh, that's how you do it. That's her personal finger motion. That's how you do it. The three fingers you do. First of all, no, I don't match. <laughs> so fuck both of you, okay? Because he jerks off dry, and he jerks off with both hands and gives himself the, you know, I do I shaker. Do, I do have to jerk off with both hands. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I feel like I just got stereotyped. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just read the room and I was correct. So uh, the fuck, no, I definitely don't. Uh, fuck out of here. So just know, ladies, you have to use two hands too. <laughs> no, you don't. Stay single, ladies. Stay single. Don't use no hands on my Look, shit. These niggas catch feelings, feelings. Don't use no hands on my shit. When she said these niggas, she was talking about niggas in the world, not these two niggas sitting there. <laughs> yeah, right. not these guys. Wait, wait, hold on. I had to clarify that shit real they quick. Yeah, not these two up, particular that niggas. That would have made me the one. <laughs> like, damn, yeah. she doing both? No. Yeah. I'm doing no one. Let's make that. I have feelings for money and my son. <laughs> yeah. And I don't got no kids, so just money for me. And I just started liking them last week, and they're 14 and 11. Damn. That's honest. That's real. (laughs) It's okay to not like your kids, though. You still love them. You still going to do whatever you got to do for them. You don't don't have to like your kids. You got to just love them, and you got to do right by them. Yeah, of course. You got to treat them right. I have to like them. They're a terrible, bad mom. Some of y'all got some bad-ass kids. Actually, I do. (laughs) So, when I first had them. Like when they were like, you know, five and three, I used to like, whenever I wanted time to myself, I would tell them we're going to play cops and robbers. 
and I would turn on Finding Nemo and duct tape them to a chair, mouth and everything, and they thought it was a game. And no, no. Why we just need you the fuck away from me. You know, <laughs> how long ago was this? You going to jail. Hey, Why do y'all call the psychological? <laughs> Harm your children. <laughs> y'all it. don't understand. They were having uh, fun. They yo, weren't damaged. No, you start doing some wild shit as a parent, man. <laughs> yo, it was like I'm in the house by myself. And like when I first got my star tattoo on my leg, I walked in the house. This is the type of shit I was dealing with. He ran up and he said, Ooh, stars. And then he took them little two year old fucking fingers and dragged it down my new tattoo. I I wanted to murder him and make a fifth. I realized I ain't like my kids when I started doing shit like going to get fast food on the way home. And eating it yes, before you get there. Before you get to the car. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, yeah, yeah. Not even yes. tell y'all I stopped. I'm just not hungry tonight. Right, like, <laughs> y'all make something uh-uh. quick. Right, right. I'm gonna tell y'all, y'all know f- where the food at. <laughs> I, I do that shit in relationships sometimes too. In fact, you got to. Women greedy. Uh, <clears throat> Women, y'all fucking greedy. I don't know. Let me see. Have y'all ever... only want, y'all like kids because y'all only want shit because we got it. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> yeah. I, that is like, not true. Truth. That is not true. Yeah, at no. All. That's the same. Want the same way. Y'all wh- got it. What kind of females have y'all dealt with? Listen, so when you go to a restaurant. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna ask her a she question. She order her food and then she see your plate like, ooh, that looks good. I'm a, I'm a one up that, and I ain't even a one up type nigga. Mm-hmm. Have you ever ordered the same thing as somebody and still wanted some of this? And y'all no. got it together? No, absolutely. You lying? Not. You just trying to go against the grain? No, no, You're no just I'm trying really, not to be wrong I'm really right honest. There. Like, I swear to God, no. Because y'all, y'all do that and say dumb shit like, oh, they cook. What, low? It looked like they cooked yours different. No, see. I've been hit with that hey, more than man. once. Like, oh, no, nah, hey, they, they ain't cook see, our shit the same. Like, think, they cook this shit in the same pot. I think this is why I can't out. relate. Like, my uncle deadass calls me undercover brother. Like, I don't, mm. I hear a lot of stories from y'all. <laughs> I hear a lot of stories from men, and I'm like, absolutely not. Like. No, like, yes, I have my girly shit where sometimes I just want to be annoying and, you know what I'm saying? But not for nothing. The most of the time that I'm going to annoy you if we're watching sports is trying to find out more so I can learn more and be, I, I'm, I'm not built the exact same way. I can't. So, no, I can't. Oh, I can't nah, get you, with that. You built different. You a nasty nigga, man. And you're a I was talking about what you was talking about. You're just a heathen. I was talking about what you were talking Everybody about. Everybody saw that we they can see you. I was making I eye contact because that's what my the, grandma always a, told me. There's a camera. There are two cameras. <laughs> there, there are two views and a witness. I was always told when somebody I was not a witness. I was actually in my phone. I missed that part. I told you, my nigga ain't no rat. My nigga ain't no snitch. Don't worry, I'm gonna catch your nigga. My nigga ain't no motherfucking snitch. I, I'm, I'm gonna grab one What he gonna do? He gonna take that motherfucking charge. You hear that? Before you leave. First right. of all, I'm not taking the charge for nobody. I'm sorry. I'm not snitching, but I'm not. So you the type the of nigga? Charge. Hold on. So you telling me you the type of person like y'all rob a bank together? And, rob a bank on, together. Listen, let, me, let me finish. Then, then I'm taking the charge nah, because I y'all did rob it a bank. You don't even let me finish the sentence. Rob the bank together. <clears throat> I go in these bushes. Kyle go in them bushes. You go in these bushes. The police come to your bushes. You gonna run up the eye bushes like, yo, come on, they caught us. <laughs> but you know what the funny shit is? No. That's happened. That's happened before, dog. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, you're, you're laughing. That's crazy. I've been in that situation. No, I, I, I've crazy. had that shit happen. Not, bank, not but, right. Yeah, I was gonna say not right. Let me clarify, goddamn. But I've had some shit happen. But you the type, you the eye, they no, caught us no, type nigga. No, I'm definitely. Not. Hey, come on, guys, they caught us. <laughs> Give it up. <laughs> Give it up, guys. They see, caught us. See, we're caught. You really trying to change my entire statement? The jig is up, fellas. They caught us. That's what he's trying to do. Look. Remember, he wanted us to define a hater. Burr, burr, burr. Uh, it's me. Face it sound like nigga. I just told the truth. <laughs> <laughs> sound like I just told the truth. <laughs> Damn, Jai, you a hater? That's crazy. That's crazy, man. I feel like I feel like I'm being motherfucking picked on. No, no, not at all. That's not what I'm saying because at that point, I was there to rob the bank with you. Okay. I was there. I'm doing my time because either one of us could have got caught. That's not the same shit as what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if I'm good and great in my fucking bed at night and you decide you're going to take my car and rob a fucking bank 
and my shit, and they come to get me. Oh, yeah, I'm telling on you. Yeah, like, no, no, <laughs> nigga, I was You know, asleep. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to give you the opportunity to tell on yourself. Right, and then I'm, I'm going to tell down, on you. Yeah, because I'm not going down. And then I'm going to tell on you. Absolutely, because I was asleep. Yeah. I was having a good <laughs> evening, and fuck being down, and fuck you, too. How about that? That That is what I mean. Do you think the yeah. I don't know what that guala guala shit you just said was, but call me another one. <laughs> call me another one. <laughs> what is your nationality? Uh, You've been threatening me since I got uh, here. Uh, hey, guala is a good thing. That's that that's the ones that got the money. Pass me them Oreos though. You don't get no fuck ass Oreos. Fuck you. I don't want no Oreos. fuck ass Oreos. I want the regular. You don't get no. Oreos. I want the regular ones. What type of guala are you? What? What type of guala are you? Nigga, you dead ass look like Guala Guala from Gullah Island. And you That's not even a nigga like name. Guala Guala, Ben Ya Ben Ya, right? Bro. That's fucked up. It's Ben Ya Ben Ya. Hey, now that you said it, bro. Tony, tell me you don't look like Ben Ya Ben Ya. Yo, you know who you look like? Yeah. I'm just trying to feel like. He wants to play. He looks yo. like the Warner Brothers frog. <laughs> you Dominican, aren't you? No! Damn, what the fuck you got against Dominicans? I don't have anything against... You guys are asking me what kind of guala am I, and okay. you want me to give you answers. What is your nationality? What kind of Hispanic is it? I'm half chocolate Oreos. chip and half grown ass man. America's favorite cookies. Shout and they and vegan. Shout out to Oreos. No, they're not. I mean, I'm, yeah, they are. Plug. It says milk's favorite cookie. That is that doesn't not mean it vegan. has milk in it. That is nigga. not vegan at all because they want you to drink the milk. Bro, wow, this was a loophole. I mean, you don't have to drink milk with the shit. That's bullshit. I won't eat. I won't eat cookies without <laughs> milk. milk. Like, I don't give a fuck how old I am. I'm not eating cookies without milk. So what you saying is I'm a savage right now? He looks I mean, like not I know the mom. Dry as a bitch. <laughs> oh, fact. I know your mouth is dry as a mother. Big fact. <laughs> I can only eat Oh one my god, milk. I figured it out. See, this is why I don't ever need to get high. I'm an almond milk type. You're gonna be so time. mad at me, Kyle. Because I figured out who you look like. You remember not the mama's daddy from dinosaurs? <laughs> I really think you look more like him than I do though. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I think you look more like him than I do. I want a picture! I want a I don't know, yo. Yo look alike comparison is real funny, too. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Which one do I look like? I know I look like something. I wouldn't know. <laughs> you, how would it duck? I, I've heard that before. <laughs> My ex-mother-in-law used to call me Howard, and it would piss me off. That's the server. Like, she'd be like, Howard, come on downstairs. I like, I'm a Let woman. Let me get back to you. Let so instead of, instead of Dougie Fresh, you, go by, you still go by Ducky Fresh? Is that a Dougie Fresh? Yes, yes, I do. My nigga. So, what's our next topic in here? <laughs> I ain't messing with y'all today. <laughs> oh, let's get into some uncomfortable shit. Uh, relationships. Everything's uncomfortable. Oh, shit. why? Why? Why do Relationship Why must we? Why not? Yes. <sighs> y'all suck. What you looking for? I do. Yeah, titties. Bad. Oh, you got it? Oh, what did you say about titties? What? She said we suck. I said I do titties. Uh, <laughs> Wait, we both like what? Where did the titties come from? <laughs> so y'all thought that was a topic. I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, but, titties oh, was the topic. They looked at her and I was like, what about? I was just so confused. Oh, Kyle's mad at me. What? Walk what in mean? his face. Huh? What? Oh no, nah, this is this Whoa. is not one of the thin skin oh, can't is... take a joke type niggas. Okay, I had to make sure. Oh no, I was that's he why mentioned I had titties to and I looked at yours. But, see, like... this is how I know I'm <laughs> going like straight to hell. It was like popping out the top of her t-shirt. This is how I know I'm going straight to hell. Instead of being like, "Yo, my bad if I got under your skin," I'm like, "Oh, Carl's a <laughs> bitch. Walk it." <laughs> <laughs> like, anyway, so this is how I know I'm going straight to hell. The topic that we have been chosen was most people don't want a healthy relationship because they will have. Because they would have to admit that they was the problem in their previous ones. Mm-hmm. Like, what insight y'all got on that? I could definitely see that. No, I mean, a lot of... I've, I've, yeah, no. Somebody had mentioned that. They were saying that a lot of people chase toxic situations back to back. So it, the other person can look like they're wrong. So that's why they pick 
dumbass partners. Yeah. I just think a lot of people don't know how to have healthy relationships. Right. Like, so that's why they repeat the same loop of toxic shit. Yeah, but I, I do think and that it's, the people, it's because people don't admit that they're the problem. Like, nobody's ever a, a hundred percent at fault in a relationship. Everybody could have done something better. Yeah. So if you can't sit back and look at a relationship and see what you could have done better, then you're the problem. You gotta yeah. do a self examination first. Yeah. I'm glad. I mean, I've, I'm I'm all my ex's favorite ex. So. I mean, I'm still cool with all my exes, so it lets me know that I can't, I'm not that bad of what a guy. What the fuck was that? It was a blunt. Yeah, listen, I, listen, thought listen. It, I thought it was a bug. I almost died. I almost but yeah, died. I'm, I'm, I'm all my exes' favorite ex. But no, a lot of people definitely chase. I think they just so accustomed to toxic situations. Yeah. yeah. But I feel I like a lot of people kind of choose that because, like I said, they don't want to. They don't want to embrace the reality that they was the problem in their past relationships. I mean, even that that too, that could be a thing. Like, I know I'm all my ex's favorite ex, which, that's what's up. Like, stop calling me. I'm not. Like, it, it, see? <laughs> but I know also that, like, you know, I have temper issues, and when I'm done using my words, I'm, I'm throwing some shit, I'm going to use my hands. So I'm toxic in that manner because if you can't feel me by listening to me, you will feel me physically. Can put my hands Period. on you? I, absolutely. She does like to put her hands on people. She put her hands yeah. on me. We just met like two hours ago. And that was see, I know that, that was class. like an hour and fifty-five minutes ago. It was. It was <laughs> into the two hours. I I know my flaws, and as they say. When you know your flaws, you are not the problem. So clearly, these niggas just no, 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 no. I don't think. I don't think. No, no, no. I don't think. No, no. I don't think. No, no. That's how that saying goes. When you correct <laughs> your flaws, you're not the problem. Nope. Nope. <laughs> just you know knowing them and still nope. having. I was like, I don't think that's how that saying goes at all. You can't admit to what you did wrong. Just because you know this shit. You're the problem. Nope. That's what he said. I can't wait for you to edit because Jesus, I remember it. First of all, okay. You literally said, "I know my." On April third. Who said that shit? 2001. My sister picked up the phone and told me to get my 12 year old ass off the phone. Hmm? Oh, this blood is not. Yeah. Good. And it was at 8 39 p.m. Well, so I'm that lost. she could I don't call know what the her fuck boyfriend. Right now. Mm hmm. Yes. So I didn't forget what the fuck you just said because I remember our fucking phone conversation 18 years ago, you dick face. Anyway, so I win. Anyway, so we got way off topic for absolutely no reason at all. Um, what's your insight on what the topic was? I tried to tell you what my insight was and you cut me off, so I forgot because I have the attention span Com- of a your- goldfish cracker. But you just said you remember everything from fucking eighteen years ago. But you don't remember what the fuck you was about to say. Worry about yourself. Thirty seconds. <laughs> Worry about yourself. So don't no, no. Out my so. What's your hot take on that, though? Um, mm. I, I have actually seen, like, a lot of my female friends post, like, oh, mm-hmm. you know, like, this relationship boring, ain't enough drama for me. Like, they'll go literally buy a pair of earrings and just leave one in the car to see what your reaction will be when she picks it up, like, this shit ain't mine. Yeah, I, I know females like that. So, yeah, I definitely understand. Some people want that toxic relationship. You know they saying? got that shit from uh, what was that? How to be a player? When she bought a panty that's like too big or too yeah. small, and you just leave them in the couch and ask who. Like, I think that was how to be a player. Like yo, what? Don't don't. You no. gotta be too old for that shit eventually. Yeah, I mean, like, a lot of them aren't. All that's gonna happen is you gonna get dumped, and now you sad, and you you shot you. But that's a self like inflicted wound. Never gonna like, be dumped, but I, at the same time, a toxic person. Shit, sorry guys, I like burped on the inside, but like <laughs> a toxic person. Mm-hmm isn't actually going to be in a relationship with a healthy person. Because you They shouldn't be. be, they will. No, no, they won't. Because I've seen it happen. Actually, they don't, I mean, sometimes no. it lasts, sometimes it don't, but I, 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 I personally have seen it. they're not going to stay in a relationship well. with this type of person. You know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as you show me that you're toxic in a situation, whether we're in the talking stage, whether we're actually together, whether this shit has been something that developed, I would be like, yo, I've already dealt with this before. I can't deal with it anymore. We're done. We're not going to be here. Toxic people with toxic people are going to be like, oh, that means he loves me. 
oh, all right, yeah, I know this bitch crazy, but blah, blah, blah. Like, it's always going to be an excuse with two toxic people. I'm not going to be with a toxic nigga. As soon as the nigga tried to cuss me out because I didn't answer my phone, knowing you got three jobs and you got two kids, bitch, where the fuck were you? Blah, blah. Oh, don't worry about me, baby. <laughs> Shit, a healthy nigga might do that. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, because that's not healthy. Like, But I'm not going to deal with it because I'm not a toxic person. Mm. I get there are you. some people I that guess. crave that. They think that's the only way for a nigga to really be in love. I mean, I've seen toxic people drag healthy people down. Definitely toxic. Been toxic individuals. Yeah, but they're not healthy if you're allowed to be dragged down by that. And that's why, yeah, I got that's that. That's what I mean. Like, I understand that. Like, you're declining yourself. That's why you allow yeah. this person to stay there. Players get caught slipping, too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the truth. So, the last joint is, uh... Kyle. Ja. <laughs> Kyle was supposed to write the docket this week, everybody. That's some bullshit. I hit him. I hit him. I was not a second. God, God. I hit him on Monday. He was like, yeah, man, I got a notebook full of shit just for this week. I don't I don't think that's how that went. I mean, we read text message <laughs> conversations, but I'm quite sure that's not how that went. I like to know. But anyway. <laughs> But no, so y'all believe in compatibility? Mm. Or you believe in growing to be with somebody? No, I absolutely believe in compatibility, if you <clears throat> ask the question. Like, absolutely. What is your compatibility, though? You feel like it's like a Zodiac shit, a personality shit, or... My like, compatibility is If you would meet a nigga and be like, oh, you a fucking whatever his sign is, I can't fuck with you. You one of them? Gemini's absolutely. They don't count though. Nobody like yeah, like no. Nah. <laughs> absolutely, Fact. I can't. <laughs> 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 the worst zodiac known to man. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, they don't count. And I know this is y'all season, but yeah, y'all are the worst people known to man, yo. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't count. Nobody all likes Gemini's at all. People. Gemini's absolutely, but um, both sides of y'all are terrible. <laughs> right, two faced. That's why super, super, they the only ones that got two fucking parts of their sign. They two faced and still fake though. Like, even a good side is still fake. It is bullshit. Like, there's a, there's something in between. It's like, like, between the two twins, there's like, you know, yeah. it's but, like they're trying to split one ball. I but can't. yeah, back on it, though. But they say, op- like, they say opposites attract, though. So it, it can't be so. both. It can't be opposites attract and you got to be compatible. Because I no. like, it's, it's one of the two. I mean, I believe it's both. I think it's just what you're doing taking life. Yeah, I mean, it's situational. Yeah. For me, for the I most don't part, think... but I mean, it just depends on the person. Some people, that, like I believe that there's both. I believe in compatibility, and I believe that even when you find somebody you're compatible with, you still got there's some shit about them that you got to learn to. Be oh yeah, with or learn yeah. To love or, so it's a combination. I learned of both. to fix, yeah. just fix it. Yeah, I mean, because you can't fix people. Like they are who they are. Though. Women yeah, are handy, that's, mandy. That's, I don't no, care what that's, you say. And that's that's why y'all always end up fucking hurt because y'all think y'all can fix, fix niggas like, instead fix. of letting a nigga be who he is. Like, are. either you gonna grow with the nigga and y'all gonna, you gonna accept the nigga's flaws like you want him to accept your motherfucking flaws. That's crazy. Women want, they want to fix the nigga, yeah. but they don't want to fix they self. First of all, my pearls. For a nigga. First of all, my pearls. Okay. Clutch. I'm, how could you? No, I'm not gonna clutch the collar of my shirt, you dirty nigga. I saw both of you. No, nah, go ahead. What, what was your statement? I was thinking about pearl necklaces, but that's something totally different. <laughs> So we're going to stay off of that. I know what a pearl necklace is. I watch a lot of porn and you're a dirty nigga. So you watch a lot of porn, but you're you don't demon. masturbate. I don't, actually. So you just watch porn like it's, like it's a BET movie? I don't know movie. how to masturbate. It doesn't you a make fucking sociopath. You just watch like, porn like it's a BET movie? Like, like it's like... Yo, yeah, you're a sociopath, yo. Who the fuck does that? Who don't want to watch today? Baby Boy or... Big Fat Apple Bottom yeah. Booty 47. Like... Like who the fuck is just sitting in the living room watching porn like this? I mean, at least with I no end game like though. Like you just watching it. it. Like you really don't skip through nothing. You just watch all sixty eight minutes of it. And no, you watch, watch you watch like the dialogue and everything. I really hate Hi, watching. Hi, I've delivered this pizza. No, I don't. <laughs> I see. Watch the whole. You watch, you watch shit. porn with stories. I don't even remember the original question I was asked. <laughs> I'm not. 
I, we, you were talking about women fixing men and why every one of y'all can fix. And we were telling y'all no, that's I why y'all No, I didn't say every up. one of us can fix. No. But you didn't and, say everyone, but you didn't specify. You just said women yeah, are we fucking do, natural we do that body a lot. builders. We do that a lot. And that's why we were built to be your helpers. It wasn't, it wasn't that we don't know how to fix. And not for nothing, don't tell me you don't know a lot of niggas that claim to act like they want to be fixed. We're natural nurturers. So with us, when we see a weakness, we want to nurture it and we want to try to fix it. Not realizing, you know what? This nigga going to be this nigga. We don't want y'all to fix you. Sometimes we just want y'all to fucking listen. Yeah. A lot of the times we do listen, though. And and, 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 and what, apply what, what y'all want to hear. I'm not going to speak for all women. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to speak for me. Me, myself. Okay. When my ex fiance lost his job and called me and you could hear the fear in his fucking voice that he lost his job and was asking me to come get him. My only thought was, oh, shit, my baby's ashamed of himself. Fuck it. I'm about to come get you and we're going to go have fun and we're going to forget about this shit. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. Told him apply for fucking unemployment. What do you want to do? Because you clearly don't want to work for these people. (laughs) Obviously, it keeps happening. And it's going to keep happening if you don't want to be here. What do you want to do? I want to do this. Bet. Bought your LLC. Let's do this together. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, five years later, no matter how supportive I was, no matter, and it wasn't that I wanted to fix him, it's that I wanted to help. I wanted him to become what he wanted to be. Yeah, wanted to fix him. But (laughs) none of it wasn't something that was requested. It was all requested. So in my mind, you telling me this is what you want. In my mind, I'm like, I'm being the perfect <clears throat> partner by helping you get where you want to be. But at the yeah. end of the day, I'm fixing you. I didn't fucking know what you wanted to do. All I did was hold your back while you did it. You wouldn't know how I know that women, like women, they just, y'all just don't listen. How is that? You just don't listen. I would love yeah, to know damage. Don't. Even the simple shit like gift giving. Women never know what to give men for gifts. That's so it's a always lie. Yeah, you know, it's always what what do you give a man for Father's Day? What do you give a man? They're gonna get us a fucking tie and some boxes. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> so that's first okay. of all. And then second of all, when they buy you some clothes, they don't buy you the shit that you like. They buy you <laughs> the shit that they want to see you in. Yeah. I am convinced that all of the women y'all fucked with have been trash. Oh no, I've, I've, I've dealt with a lot of great women. Yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad habit. I'm just saying it's a habit that women have. Yeah. You buy shit that you want to see your man and you don't buy shit that he wants. That he doesn't wants. make any sense to me. Why would I buy you a tie if I've never seen you in a damn tie? Because you want to see him in one. Why? Why? It's not you... your style. Don't buy me a dress, nigga. <laughs> buy me a man, good burger shirt. shirt. Fucking them shits up. I need some. Like this? <laughs> God <laughs> damn. Did it pop open? Oh. She fumbled it. I tried so hard. This is your couch. I don't give a shit. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I, I have a vacuum cleaner. Don't you fret. But not fret? Who the fuck says that? Don't fret. It's, it's but no, it's like... I don't know. I think people... People want more compromise than compatibility. Because I see that word a lot when it comes to relationships. Compromise, compromise, like... Because you typically don't, I mean. I mean, certain little stuff you got to compromise. Like, because when you move with a motherfucker, that's when you learn who a person really is. Yeah. yeah. It's certain shit, like, I can understand compromising on, like, within moving in. Because especially if y'all got different ideologies and shit about how a household should be ran. And I don't mean ran like, you know what I'm saying, like, head of household type shit. But, like, some people... Like to run the dishwasher, some don't. Some like it's just mm-hmm. little little dumb First ass. First of all, if you don't like to run the dishwasher, get out. Yeah, I, I hand wash you, my get, shit. Get, get, no. You have to sanitize it too. You ha- No, Jesus. Black Jesus. people um, put bleach in their dishwater. Facts. <laughs> that's that's, sanit- in that's, dishwater that's sanitation like a motherfucker. I pour bleach in the dishwasher too. Yes. Do, do your fucking job. Yes, you rinse it all off with the bleach and water. Yeah, I'll both. And then you put it yeah, I'll use in the dishwasher. The dishwasher. You don't hold oh, Jesus. 
I don't use dishwashers. Oh, I'll be. <laughs> why not? Because my dishwasher is old, so I know that shit used way more water than it's supposed to. <laughs> shit, feel like I feel like I should run my water bill up. I ain't got it. Like I got healthy kids in the house for if I got a hand wash said, dishes. He just said that he puts bleach in the dishwasher when he washes the dishes. And then he said he don't use it. Cause he knew what I was getting at. You lied to me. <laughs> Cause he knew what I was getting at. Wait, what? So y'all I have been using my dishwasher recently because I got a fucked at? up knee. No, I'm lost. So Help. Y'all, y'all can afford to run the dishwasher. I needed. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what the dishwasher in my house do? I need an adult. Every sweet everything because this is my dishwasher. I do. <laughs> right here. Oh man, y'all are hilarious. But yeah, so Kyle has fuck. <laughs> y'all are hilarious. Man. Kyle got money, money. Kyle is broke. Money. But yeah, so I mean I'm high as hell. But yeah, so you a fan of compromising or you a fan of I think it's a combination of both, man. Acceptance. I think it's going to be a little bit of both. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that, but um, unfortunately on my don't... end, like it's it, it got to be more acceptance than compromise. Yeah, I was like, you shouldn't yeah. compromise with so much. No, if you, no, if, I'm if saying with me. Like, I'm not saying with with other people. No, I I'm, can... talking, I'm saying that too, just in general. Yeah, you should, only, you like, should only compromise with so much of yourself before it's like, If you're right, compromised... What are we doing? Consists of you changing like everything about yourself. That's not compromise. Yeah. <laughs> like that's just yeah. you being molded at that point. Like they molding you to be what yeah, they want you to be. Yeah, and it's like I'm an adult. Get your hands off me. <laughs> so I hate when I see people ask questions like, "Would you let your husband or boyfriend do this? Or would you let your wife or girl like you can't let a motherfucker do nothing? Yeah, they gonna, gonna do what they want. Grown ass man. Yeah, <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna do what the fuck I want to do, and if you don't like it, you either gonna stay around or you gonna leave. Yeah, right, they show you how much respect they got for you. Period. But that's the, that's what I was about to say. People gonna do what they're gonna do. It's just about how long as as long as they move it respectfully. Yeah. When they doing it, just don't get caught. That's it. That's what that's what, that's what moving respectfully is, bitch. Don't get caught. So, the mass amount of people cheat. Just don't get caught. Everybody cheats except for black men. This is facts. Wow. <clears throat> oh, you're light skin. I know you cheat. Actually, no, I've never cheated on anyone. Like, ever. Yeah, you definitely strike me as the we need a break type. And then you go do what you do and then chill. You know what? This nigga just called me a dirty whore. <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> the right. next day, like, you know what? We need to talk. So let's work this out. <clears throat> so if you get caught, it's like, yeah, I didn't cheat on you, nigga. We was on a break. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we was on a break. We nah. weren't together at that time. No, nah, because the nigga told me that I'm putting a stiletto like right here. I want it in between. Why well, does everything that with vector. you end in violence? I want to hear the crunch. When everything I with you through. ends in violence. And I'm not understanding. I don't know what you mean. I just crazy. I don't like, even recall. Just, and just the show itself. Like I don't recall. You just gonna murder? <laughs> I think. I think that I've been drinking Bacardi and I am no longer fit to stand trial. And I just poured it on me. See? See? Anyway. <laughs> God knows. <laughs> Damn, I got caught. So anyway. Wait. Wait. I'm sick of both of y'all. I need, I need answers. What just happened? The Toronto Raptors are going to win the NBA championship. No, the That's fuck they're happen. not. You are such. First of all, Drake forgot about his curse. <laughs> Nigga, quit wearing Toronto Raptors jerseys. If you don't sit your body sculpted ass down. I think Kawhi might reverse that curse, though. That nigga's just, he's just different. I think that Drake is going to be the reason that they lose, and I want him to get jumped when they lose. Drake did take a picture with Joshua a couple months ago, and they're saying that's why he lost. Joshua said he was going to break that curse, and then he got beat up by the fat Mexican last mm -hmm. night. I think that he's going to be the reason, and he thinks that he's, like, canceling it out no, he because is. of his uh, tattoo <laughs> along So, no, let's do that. Let's roll in this sports. Let us do that. The Raptors are going to win the championship. Well. <clears throat> well. 
Golden State ain't got shit for him. Wow. I was in the middle of a, of a statement. And, uh, unless, oh, right. No, I forgot it now. You were just talking about Drake getting jumped. Like, we was past that. <laughs> Once the rap is lost. Number one, they're not going to lose. You know what? Unless the rant comes back. Shit might change. They about to lose game two tonight. If Durant not 100% when they go to game three in Golden State, they might lose that shit too. Durant going to snap that. I'll bet an old school running man that Golden State going to win tonight. I'm, no, I'm not doing the I'm not talking to you. And I, that's <laughs> fucked up. That's fucked up. I'll take that bet too. Because I know the Golden State going to lose tonight. So, um, you know what? I didn't even think about what was happening with his leg before I said but that. But yeah, so, and then on top of that, uh, so the Anthony Joshua shit, the boy got, the boy got knocked he out. He got beat out by a fat Mexican, man. And this is, this is the man that they said is supposed to be fucking with Wilder? This sound retarded. This was, oh, yeah. this was supposed to be the money fight between him and Wilder or him and Fury. He wouldn't have stood the test of time with either one of them. I think either one of them would have knocked him out in the that first That boy round. had no chin. And Wilder hit hard. Yeah, his chin was motherfucking putty. His mm. chin made out of Play-Doh. He got dropped four times by a fat Mexican. One day he dropped first. Like most people, you drop somebody, you going to finish that fight. He got like a six to eight inch reach on the Mexican. Yeah. He's taller than him. He's got longer yeah, reach. He, he's like, he was like six inches taller than him because yeah. I seen him. Side, like he had him. I think his reach was like 74. The Mexican dude was like Ruiz. We gonna call it right. Ruiz Jr. shit was like 65 or something like I'm that. I'm gonna call like, it the Mexican dude. So the Mexican dude. <laughs> no, mean, he's the first. He's the first ever Mexican heavyweight champion. So yo, we gotta just, put a little bit of respect on him. He just got some punches straight through there, and them shits hit. Man, you just call him Ruiz. That's his name. name. It's fucking Ruiz Jr. Um. No, and I'm saying a lot of shit about people saying like, like he just some fat dude off the street. Like he don't train too, cause they was like all oh, that gym shit. And niggas going to the gym. Like, oh, yeah. I'm sure this nigga probably runs five miles a day like everybody else. I doubt that. Mm-hmm. I know what out of shape niggas look like. He was out of shape. Mm-hmm. No, his his win was good. Though. And it's okay though. No, he wasn't mm-hmm. winded. Yeah, he wasn't winded. Yeah. He wasn't winded. Like, he was Sometimes like. Sometimes you just shape like that. Most, yeah. most fat niggas, yeah. Some niggas is just like, I'm sure. No. Y'all don't have to tell you me about talking being, about. Y'all trying to tell a fat nigga about being fat. I don't need y'all to tell me about I being mean, fat. I mean, we just trying to help. Just, but you're, you're you know. fat and out of shape. You're not fat and just fat. It's I'm not out of shape. It's your brace that you wouldn't let me hit. I, if you let me hit it, it'll give it more. I was like, you trying to hit what? Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> y'all need me to step out? <laughs> She's talking about hitting my brace, apparently. I caught on. Oh. I was like, you want to hit? All I heard no, was, if you, don't talk to me all like I that. heard was, if you let I'm me hit it, it'll change cookies. your life. That's all I heard. You I'm like, going to eat my cookies, and I'm going to let that. y'all finish y'all shit. <laughs> you, I need more. You let me hit it, it'll change your life. That's all I heard. It'll change my life, because I'll have to change my number, so no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, um. You be changing your number for nothing. <laughs> This nigga said, I know your Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we said niggas just don't be pressed like, press. like regular niggas be. Oh, we're going to an agreement, guys. Yeah, so. I'm going to go get more alcohol. Relax, chill. You just sit back, man. It's okay. <laughs> this is almost over. Anyway. um. OG Lizzie. So at the end, at the end of the. the uh, kind of people. At the end of. Every show we we leave with we leave the people with positive words and since you're the guest we let you start it off so any <clears throat> any positive words advice or a positive quote phrase or whatever you want to leave for the people hmm. positive words just whatever's on your heart or in your mind so as y'all see we built this shit for free I want all of you to go to college start earning shit invest. Like, let's take everything back over. We was brought over here, so why not? Build it for free and earn the rest of the fucking shit. We got it. They are going to shut our show down. All of my <laughs> positive words. They're going to shut us down. Corporate like, America is no place Racism. The racism. It's in your face, bitch. <laughs> Blatantly. Racism is in your face, bitch. <laughs> Fuck college. No, <laughs> 
Get a trade. Yeah, get a trade. Do some real nigga shit. Start your own nah. business. Yeah, yeah. I definitely agree with that shit though. Start your own business. Definitely yeah, invest sure. in some shit like she said. Nah, um, we didn't mention it, and it's been. I don't know how the fuck we kind of left it out, especially being the fact that we're in fucking Virginia Beach. Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Um, that mad wild, shooting. that wild ass mass shooting that happened oh, at the Virginia yeah. Beach Municipal Center, man. Them twelve people lost their life. That shit was unnecessary. Yeah. And uh, shout out, shout out to Virginia media for giving honor to the the, the victims and not the yeah, suspect, not like the suspect. everywhere else. You know, exactly. Virginia moves different. Yeah. Everywhere else, like all you see is the the, the face of the. Nah, we, we they said the we gonna give you his name once, and that's it. That's so, it. He's a suspect. The dead nigga. Right. That's all you see is the face of the person and. The dead nigga. Don't let that go. Um, man, everybody who live in the area know the. the Everybody who live in the area know the 757 Hampton Road has been on fire the past couple weeks as far as shootings. A lot and of shootings. Killings and just, just stupid shit. People killing at Wawa's and gas stations. and You got to do better with life, man. Rest like, in peace to Reek, too, man. Yeah, rest, shit, definitely rest in peace to Reek, That man. shit was sad, That shit man. tough, man. One of these so. was a good, like, I know everybody say somebody was a good nigga after they passed, but Reek yeah, was really like was a, a thorough, nigga. he was a good nigga, dog. Took care of his so. family. Always showed niggas love when they can't, like, when, when you interacted with him. Like, yeah. he was a good dude, man. Like, so, man, you know, that shit happened right down the street from my crib. Yeah. That so, shit right there. So, we just like, man, you got to start appreciating life more, man. Stop throwing your life away on dumb shit. Um, stop making, what is it, permanent solutions on temporary situations and shit like yeah. that. Like, you know what I mean? Think about it more. I got one more thing. If you're done, I'm, I'm not done. trying to, because as you know, like that's why I'm here as a visitor. I what was with the mean Ohio. finger lick before she? Because I had chocolate on my finger. Uh-huh. Okay, first of all, I've been holding yeah, this. She fucking... sucked the skin off her finger. Did y'all yeah, see that she, shit? She was licking that cookie off her finger. Why am I here? Wait, I live here. Why are y'all? <laughs> <laughs> but no, go but ahead. no, really. <laughs> go ahead. So. I'm a visitor on this podcast because I live in Ohio. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm in Beaver Creek. It's like a suburb of Dayton. Fiddle, they're like 18 minutes away. Like, there are a lot of them that are just in. It's dope to see the city come together. Yes, we did have some yeah. issues with one of the FEMA trucks, but... That tornado fucked Ohio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. The, that, that the whole Midwest in general, in like... Middle yeah. of a valley, yo. Yeah. And I know, like, so, like, I'm watching, like, the the cameras and the people taking pictures and this is like places that these are all the people I know because a lot of them don't live up near me. Yeah. All the people I know are y'all just out of houses and out of cars and you know one place told everybody even though their apartments were okay get out you got three days because we're going to condemn the whole apartment complex for insurance of course. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's really cool to see, like, the whole city getting together to try to yeah. help rebuild the people that were lost here and the people that were lost there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, the donations and all that that's going on. I'm really proud of Dayton right now. I just want yeah. to say that. Midwest stand up, man. Hell yeah. They definitely been dealing with a lot of tornadoes out there. Shout yeah. out to West Nap. So. My family friend. So, um, yeah, man. All I got to say is. Watch we it. back, bitch. We back, bitch. <laughs> For, for forever, BYOB, we about to become the number one podcast in the world. Quote that shit. Mm-hmm. Affirmation, speaking into existence. Yeah, do that shit. But yeah, I mean, all I got to say, I guess, to close the show out is um, watches don't taste like batteries, but you can also always chew on table corners if there's no bubble gum in the pot. I'm sorry, nigga, what? <laughs>